Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and today we're going to be taking a quick critique of a few of the new Space Engineers blocks. If you somehow don't know, the latest update to the Space Engineers develop build brought with it a, uh, well, fantastical change to the, well, great majority, if not all, of these Space Engineers blocks. As you can see before us, we have dozens of them set up on their own little pedestals, and what I'm going to do is basically go through a few of these, which I found graphical issues are things that I feel need feedback for changes, for build-up, for make them better, or, you know, just a graphical issue here and there. But just in case you don't know, the whole game has had quite the graphical overhaul. Anyway, first up here, the first thing worth talking about, and this is something that I believe other people have talked about before, uh, sometime this week, I saw it on Reddit even mentioned, is this cockpit block here. Let's go ahead and actually see if we can bring it up in the G screen here, and this has been some graphical overhauls to some of this as well, it feels. But anyway, here we go, the control station, your box standard control station here, and we can mouse scroll wheel through the different sizes, but both of these appear to have a little bit of an issue where... Well, they don't fit the art style, really. As you look here at this thing here, it's a lot of, you know, those 45 angle sort of things that I love, or, yeah, 45 angle things I love, a lot of bulkiness, everything feels really, really chunky and bulky, to the point where I kind of wish it wasn't as chunky, but it overall is a very nice artistic style, and it pops really well, especially has some readability from afar, usually, and it all, well, like I said, real chunky, real bulky, real nice to look at, usually, unless you get right up to it, and then sometimes, I don't know, it can fall apart a little bit, but overall, it's pretty damn great, and then you come to the cockpit here, where if you look at the actual seat piece itself, well, it's sort of this slimy, random thing, which looks like some sort of semi-modern take that no company would really be too keen on. I'm not going to talk about it too much, because genuinely, it, I really dislike it to the point where I lose the capability to think logically about it. Let's just say it doesn't fit the art style one bit, the actual chair. It's just sort of a blobby single-piece thing or two-piece thing that um, does not look good whatsoever. From the back, it sort of looks like some sort of lady bit that's deciding to uh, pop into our world. It does have a, uh, a top bit there. Um, it's supposed to be for the head. Uh, yeah, I'm just not very keen on it at all. It doesn't fit the art style, and it's not a particularly um, interesting piece of uh, chair work here. It's interesting something else. Anyway, as for the back, you can see they did have some idea here with the nice piston bits here where it looks like it would be able to rotate the chair back and forward, and it does make logical sense in that way. If they did think it out, so it's going to be able to pivot forward and backwards, but it just doesn't fit the overall style of just how bulky everything else has went. The bottom piece here for the clamp onto the floor, that all works pretty well, it's just mainly the chair itself that lets it down, and the monitor display itself works alright, if a bit bland, but I should point out that this whole upper section here that reaches up feels a bit bland itself as well, it's just sort of a big piece of bent metal that reaches up, goes all the way to the top, and then has a few of these gigantic clamps holding in there. It works, but it does end up feeling a bit bland, maybe a few more cables out the back or something to break it up would be nice. Moving on to this one, the chair is the exact same chair, you can see even the arms that reach out of it, they're just some... The geometry even starts looking a bit odd. They tried to put the little bolts in there to make it look like it's held in together, but it's still, I don't know, it's a singular 3D printed piece, let's imagine, but I'm not too keen on it at all, and again, it doesn't hold up with the art style, and from quite a few angles, it really starts to look like just some weird squished geometry, especially from the upper area here. The uh, joysticks themselves, too, also are ridiculously low poly as far as I can see. We're going to do a real quick test by teleporting our character over here and hopping into the seat, and looking down at our hands, and uh, I guess maybe they're all right, the poly count on it. You don't really notice it when you're in the seat. Yeah, overall, in the seat, it all works well, but uh, I can't go first person in this one. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not keen on this seat whatsoever. Anyway, moving on from that, let's just carry on here. Got this little seat here, once again, completely doesn't fit the art style at all. I like the selection thing where you just mouse over the geometry instead of having the large selection square in front of it. That is a very nice touch. But uh, yeah, most definitely, um, let's go back to spectator mode so we don't get the highlight. I'm not very happy with the actual design. It's the same exact chair, just copied over here. Even the uh, way that it meets onto the ground, it has these sort of 
angles leading up to it, pinching up to it, which seems like a good idea for holding onto it, even the little metal clasp here to grab it, but it's just the fact that the seat itself just doesn't feel... Well, it doesn't match anything else in the game. Moving on from there, we got some other stuff. I don't think I've seen any graphical issues with these, so we're just going to cut ahead until I find something I feel needs reporting as an issue. Mainly, this is a critique video, not necessarily a look at positives, because there are, like I said, quite a few positives with the great majority of these blocks. Look at that. Little tiny spaces to fly through here. Getting a lot of clipping with our screen. That's just the near clip feel. It's all pretty good. Uh, for the most part, this is a fantastically modeled thruster here. And you might say, hey, why can't I see the faces on some of this? It's just simply because, well, if you look from here, you can see there might be some angles where you would be able to actually see the other side of it if you got your camera at exactly the right angle. So it's all very well done. My only critique is honestly just this pinch here. I think they should have just had a circular bit that just goes to black or something, maybe with a little, like this little black line line there at the center point to sort of cut it out so um, it doesn't just have this weird pinging because when it is off it becomes a bit obvious. I don't know, maybe it's alright, maybe it's not, it just makes me uncomfortable of that. Same thing goes for the larger version here. All quality as far as I can tell, but at the middle it definitely just looks like a cut up mess, uh, not necessarily a piece of intentional design. If they were really picky about saving geometry, this is on the large beacon, which is pretty awesome. Reminds me of the center power core in the Death Star with the whole thing. And I love these little clamps holding it together. There's a little bit of geometry, though, if they really wanted to save a few. Um, I think they could cut out this edge right here that we're staring at, right there, and the bottom edge right here here you can see there's also some very minor texture stretching there but because that's all encompassed they can't get rid of this edge here that leads over to it but they could get rid of that one and eh, that's about it really maybe a few faces they could delete here they do have four of them here and then i think it is much the same yeah down here uh there's not too much they could get rid of really all this is pretty much needed just at the top is the tiniest little bit so overall that's very well done Looking behind this, we have this weird, apparently untextured plane here. I'm not sure what the point of it is. Uh, yeah, I really just don't understand. I'm assuming maybe this is something unfinished, because otherwise, why would you have that? And this, because this piece of metal, does it lead outside? Uh, yeah, it's the same piece of metal that leads outside, so it makes sense that this would actually be here, because it saves geometry by leaving that. Heading through here, uh, do these go to the outside? No, they don't, so they don't need this back geometry here. You can see there's a few wasted things here. Very nitpicky, I know, but I figured I'd go ahead and take a quick look. Yeah, some of this geometry isn't really needed, uh, because you're not going to be able to see the back side of it, no matter how you set yourself up. And I think overall, there's some pinching right there at the very end of that. As long as you don't get any closer than this, you don't really notice, though. Moving up to this one, unless there's collision geometry, yeah, again, some faces here, like this face right here, all the way around, there's a whole ring of them. Don't really need those. They said they were going to be working on cleaning a lot of this up, though, making the models more streamlined, getting their LODs in there, so I suspect a lot of this will get cleaned up. I'm just reporting it, uh, because I thought I'll all be thorough, shall I? Oh my god. Yeah. That's um, inside the reactor. Uh, there's a lot of faces. I, they definitely, I don't think, need these faces here. That's probably going to save them quite a bit of geometry to get rid of these big circular faces. Uh, let's see. Around here, this is probably going to be kept because it's probably going to be cheaper just to have that. Uh, what else do we have along the bottom? Anything else silly? This looks like... Does this actually... Hmm. They might want to think about cutting out some of this as it bends downwards because you can't see a lot of that circular geometry they could cut be cutting a lot of that out and also did i just see yep there's a world hole right here you can see where this green thing stops a little bit too early and you can see into this whole area and of course if you get rid of that ooh, sugar that's another world hole right here i think is it no, it's not. So yeah, all they got to do really is pull that green bit of material upwards a little bit more, and that'll fix a lot of issues, and you can get rid of this darker line here that runs behind everything. Yeah, that should be pretty good. And if, yeah, yeah hell, you can even get rid of the top line of this dark cylinder that runs along here, because I don't think there's texture stretching anywhere out here that actually sees the top of that. So you get rid of the top polys there. Also, we have some of, uh, this nastiness going on right here. I don't know if this is an issue with... Ow, what the hell is going on in there? Look at that. Because it's big old gap there. Some sort of... Oh my goodness, it's offset. 
something's been offset here incorrectly. Maybe this whole bottom sort of gray piece with these teeth reaching down has been offset. Also, we got some texture stretchy nonsense going on right here. I think that's about it, though. Oh my god, a bunch of it up there. Yikes, you little dandy. That thing's uh, going crazy. We also have a bunch of it right there on the back side of that piece. Uh, was that the piece I thought they could delete? Yeah. Huh. It's a piece I thought they could delete. Maybe they can't delete it. Maybe they should just take this geometry right here, like grab this edge that we're looking at where it starts going crazy and just pull that all the way in so the cylinders will just pull into the center piece. Mm, it'll have to depend, but yeah, that's definitely got some serious issues. You can notice it from even right here. You can see the stretching on those. And then, of course, the uh, gap at the bottom right here. I'm not seeing it. Oh, yep, you can see it right here. You can see the slight blue from the other side where the gap is. Yikes. So that shows up a bit. Not exactly ideal. Uh, heading into here. Yeah, this all looks pretty good. This all looks pretty good. Yeah, moving on from this one. Let's see if we can find any other fupas about. What was that? There's a world hole. There's a world hole right there. Jesus, it's not set, It's not connected at all. There's a... <laughs> look at that gap. Okie dokie. Well, that was... Hmm. Okay, let's see. It's on every face. It's on every face. Look, it's right there. You can see right through the thing. It looks like... It looks like, yeah, they actually did model a drop-in to sort of make it look like this piece of metal is inset, which is pretty cool, but you need to make sure you grab this other face, of course, and pull it down and join it up to that uh, inset face, so. That was a little foopa. Actually, no, I thought they did it on this one for a second. Nope. Uh, let's look inside it. Anything else in here? Uh, they could delete the back side of uh, this control panel. Ta-da! Pretty nice control panel, by the way. I love the work they did on it. You know, it's like get the little three lines thing at the top left so you could press it and get information or whatever uh, options i love that control panel it's really well done i suspect that they might not be able to actually change that because um the way they said they were doing a few things is sort of kit bashed or i say kit bash that's not really right it's where they made this big opening here this big thingamajig the conveyor port and then it automatically puts it into all the different models so if they change the conveyor port at all it'll change on all the models at once so the control panel might be done the same way so they can't really delete the back side of it because another model might be using it in some way where it's not really sticking out like this okay how do i take a close look at you while you're spinning uh, they don't really need the back sides of these little lights down here at the bottoms of this thing. I have no idea why they would have those. They have a little indentation where it sort of re curves around and back to the flat puck, but you don't actually need those faces if it's flush with it. A uh, little tiny seam right there, but I don't think that anybody will really notice that. Ooh, fuck me. What the fuck? Lots of stretch textures in here. On the bottom of some of this stuff, but I don't think anybody's really going to notice that. Stretched, stretched. It's like, a, a, for a lot of this, they applied the texture on the front, and on the back, it's like they did a planar apply for their textures, and on the sides it just went and stretched it between the two here. Even though there's a bit of a seam on it as well. Interesting. Oh, is that a fighting? No, it's just the light being silly. Good. Yeah, overall, very good on that one. Some stretching but i don't think we really have to worry about that oh look at the awesome new uh cryopod fancy fancy i actually quite like it especially the way it leans backwards a little bit it's very cool very very cool hey and the interior is uh pretty good yeah again the back of the control panel shows up i think that's just the they can't really do anything about that this looks very good from a quick look at it hmm oh did you see that there it is there's a world hole right there Right, there's a big old nasty, gashy world hole leading all the way up the thing. All the way up. It's easy fix, they just grab that and pull it inwards a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, that should be an easy, easy fix. Oh, it's even down here. Yep, it's even down here. Yeah, just pull it inwards a little bit more. Uh, yeah, they're gonna have to fiddle about a little because they have this bevel. Maybe you make this little beveled edge thing right here on the bottom, drag it out to that input point and then just pull everything into the whole mesh to line up with just this line right here and maybe that'll work and then at, over here where it starts to show up a lot uh there it is right here just drag this in and just make sure you uh don't change your or let your uvs drag with it or however you wish to say this oh dearie and we have some texture stretching on the bottom not very important considering it's the bottom let's see is it mirrored on the other side it's not oddly enough huh uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we do have the world hole here, though. I saw it for a second. 
Where'd it go? I saw it there. I could have sworn I saw it. Yep, yep, you can see through it right there. <laughs> right there at the bottom. I don't think the rotation's helping us, so we're going to stop the rotation here in a second. <laughs> oh, there's another world hole. You see that one? Right there. I can see right through it. Right into the universe. Da, 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 da. Moving on. Medical thing looks very nice. God, I love it. Oh, sexy, sexy medical. Well, overall, the uh, medical bay is just excellent. I'm not seeing any serious issues anywhere. Not seeing any real texture stretching. Maybe a little bit right there, but overall, it's very, very well done. I mean, the well, there's a world hole right here. As soon as I start complimenting it, I found a world hole right there, rather notably right there. Is it on the bottom as well? Yep, you can see it right in the corner, right there, world hole. Uh, overall, it's pretty damn good, though. Pretty good. You can see a edge right there showing up. I hate it when that happens. It's so befuddling how they get rid of those sometimes. It's like, oh, I fixed it here, and it shows up again once you get it in game. But yeah, world holes, uh, just a few of those. Those are the only ones I've really seen while buzzing about this thing. Uh, and then the only other issue I saw up here was um, this right here, that little triangle that's just sitting there like it's got the wrong texture on it. Or uh, more exactly, I think it's part of the uh, texture map of this, but it leads into another area. A little texture stretching right there on the edge, but I don't think that really matters too much. Yeah. That triangle is just a different part of the texture map that they got over this. It's not a tiling texture, it's a specific one, I think. And I think that's another area that's supposed to be super shiny. Mm. Either that or maybe, I don't know how exactly. They might be using one big texture for this, or it might be a texture with a bunch of different, basically, materials on it. Anyway, moving on. Sexy metal is sexy. Ah, fuck. Well, on the reactor, uh... No massive issues, but I did find a little texture stretch here. Like, one polygon just decided it didn't want to be friends and seems to have... Like, when they laid out their UVs, like, that one somehow just didn't get laid out. If they can select that and unfold it, it should just into place. Lickety split, I would suspect. Uh, same with this one here. Looks like it might be the same around every side. Yeah, it looks like it might be the same around every side. Just a few of these are just not happy. Not happy. Yeah, there's some... Ugh. Yeah, uh, and then similar to the, uh, what was it, small reactor on the large one, if you look behind these large sort of pucks, again, it's this big silly thing, which isn't too bad, but you can sort of notice it from here. I don't know if it's worth fixing or not. Again, they could just stretch it and pull it in or up closer to the main cylindrical center mass here. Uh, and then let's see. Yeah, with this you can see they've actually gone ahead and deleted the excesses of the big sphere, so it's not wasted geometry. Pretty nifty, that. Yeah, that's well done. Overall, this one's very nice, except for those uh, few texture stretches. Oh, and whatever the hell this is. This is... Some of this looks to me like, um... When they baked their occlusion map, maybe they baked it into their texture, or maybe they do have it on a separate layer, but either way, some of this looks like uh, the occlusion maps just had a bad day and decided to stay around even when it shouldn't be welcome anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the engine actually rendering out... A darker area here than it should. I don't know. Either way, it's not happy. Uh, and you don't get it on all, all of them, even though you got more texture stretches there. Jesus, they need to just go over that with a fine tooth comb and figure that out. Moving on to this one, I know right away we have a few issues with this. I say issues, really, it's not an issue. It's a, it's what I would describe as an odd design choice. It's pretty cool because it means there's negative space here. You can see negative space back here behind these panels, but it doesn't mean there's a lot of geometry just sitting here. I would expect them to take like this edge right here in front of us, boop, and pull that all the way back into here. Uh, and also, of course, delete the back edges of these large cylinder things. They're leaving them right now, I think, because they do stick out to a point, but again, I would say just pull that back or at least delete like a uh, this face right here and the one above it and then drag the edge right here on the center of our screen down flat out uh, what else do we got nothing really else on these yeah nothing else mm, this is pretty nifty it's pretty nice not seeing any serious issues again odd design choice with that uh sharp edge right there but overall pretty good by the way if you're curious what this is this is an ore detector now looks awesome like, you can imagine the energy pulsing around it, mm -hmm. and scanning for everything. That's a world hole! Very nifty. Oh, also, you can see faceted edges on this, on the top of it. Dink, 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 dink. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's an engine issue or whatever, but you can see there on the center of your screen, as we move farther and closer, for some reason, uh, 
apparently they have a what you'd almost call a decal. You know, it's probably a piece of geometry floating in space. But the uh, behind this, boop, you think you can see? Huh? It's yeah. I'm not seeing a big, huge metal plane here of this texture. So I don't know why. Every now and again, it's like we can see a big. Okay, yeah, there is a big cube of it. But yeah, when you go farther away and closer, for some reason it's popping in and out. And you can see the uh, edge right here. Pretty obvious seam where the cylinder core oval-shaped things are just getting clipped. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I don't. Know, maybe it's not even a tiling texture. You can see some shadows through it as well. Yeah, there's actually a whole face of geometry back here that you can't even see because of this. That's, uh... Odd. Very odd. Pretty nice thing, all the little shapes and stuff in this. I actually quite like these thrusters, the new ion thrusters. There's been some people who are a bit hissy-fitty about them, but I think they're pretty cool. Uh, you know, it is a genuine complaint about symmetry, particularly on the small one, where if you rotate these any sort of different way, so now they won't exactly all fit together. I can demonstrate that really quickly. So like this, in the past you could put them in any way and they'd always line up together, but now you can rotate like this and you sort of get these little tiny uh, divots that are offset on the edges because they're not necessarily in the corners. There's three of them instead of four. I'm kind of alright with it because you get a bunch of them it's just going to look like a mess, but it can set one's OCD off maybe a littlest bit. Depends on your type of OCD, I guess, but yeah. Uh, it's a minor grievance. What the hell is going on here? Um, Yeah. There's... What? That is, uh... Okay, so it looks like they were originally planning to have... These in a different spot. <laughs> That's all I can say, is... Looks like they were originally planning to have this one here, and then another one here on the other side. You see here, it just sort of blobs into the side metal. And on this side, they actually have these cut-ins for it, which is pretty nifty. Uh, but on the other side of it... Well, it's just missing. It's not there, and you get basically a world hole where you can see into this piece of geometry right here, uh, which is, well, not ideal, is it? Also, we get, I think there might be, what the hell is going on here? There's like a lighter edge there than I would expect. Uh, I don't know, it could just be the lighting from the react, the large fusion-y power fun time engine explosion of ion energy there in the center. Yeah, it looks like it was supposed to be symmetrical top-bottom, and they, uh, they shifted these at some point but didn't go ahead and change the underlying piece. They were probably in a hurry to get it out to everybody. Also, I thought this was a design thing here, uh, these little bars going up and down right here, but they only seem to be at that one point and maybe again right here, but then they don't appear anywhere else along it. So I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to be, as they don't seem to have any symmetry or logic reasoning to them. Overall, though, the shape looks pretty good. Um... There's a little jog here, followed by some texture stretching. Don't know what's going on with that. Uh, what else do we have here? Looking pretty good overall. A lot of this would appear to be actually modeled in, which is pretty nifty. And unlike the reactor, we're not getting a bunch of like texture stretches hidden here and there. There's a few... Actually, there's barely any texture stretching on this thing. There is an obvious world hole, though! Just the weirdness at this uh, one corner here where it looks like it's jogging up suddenly at that corner and you see a bit of a triangle. Now let's see, is this mirrored on the other side? Yeah, you get some crazy texture stretching there, but it doesn't seem like it's necessarily everywhere. It just seems like those silly corners gave somebody some troubles. And it's pretty cool that with the pipes that you can actually see around the sides of them. They could do the same thing I was suggesting with uh, the sort of piping over here, where I was suggesting just pulling it straight back, where you would save, you know, two... Well, two quads for every single faceted piece of the cylinder, pipe, torque, whatever you want to call the silly thing, the hose that runs around it. But uh, I think it's actually pretty cool to f see the full cylinder here. I think that's actually pretty damn nifty, honestly. Yeah, it's all very well done here. I like this a lot. Yeah, just some geometry silly bollocks going on with uh, those corners. And a little bit of a world hole that opens up... Okay, good. It's only in the inside. It doesn't matter at all if you get one here, but it does mean that uh, all these faces probably are, yeah, they're not all merged to the very center. It looks like there's some offsetting nonsense here, which means you probably have an extra triangle just sitting in there. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Yep, oh, that's a big old world hole. Um, yeah, I know we were already on this one for a second, but we flew... Jesus Christ! Is this something to do with, like, your character far away? I just brought my character closer to see if it may be LOD'd, but nope. That is just a gigantic hole there. Again, simple fix. I can just pull the dark gray matter here. You can see it should... 
Uh, they could just pull it and snug it up. But that's a world hole right there. Uh, it's on this side too. Yep. There's a world hole right there. Let's fly around to this side. World hole? No. So they got it here. So maybe it's one of those things where the geometry got all offset for some reason. Let's clip through here. Uh, yeah, you can see it's it's fine there. And it's not fine up here. Oh my god, it's not fine here. Does this bad the whole way down? Yeah, apparently it is. Wait. <laughs> Right at the bottom, it seems to be almost all right, but yeah, it's still a world hole. The whole thing is, uh, got a world hole all around these big gray sections here. That's not ideal, is it? Oh, it's just so apparent at some of these corners. I get the feeling it's, it's like, offset. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's something. I think I just saw, yep, another world hole right here, where that's sticking through on each of these little bits of metal here. Is that the whole way through on all of these? Yep, that's world hole there, world hole there. Uh, let's fly ourselves around here, world hole right there. You can see them very clearly there with a the blue sky behind them. They show up pretty badly there. Let's fly up to the top. Oh my god, those world holes are so apparent. The second you get anywhere near it. And yep, more world holes right here. Oops, doodle dandy. Um, what in the fuck is that? Okay, well, I have no idea what the hell's going on here. It looks like, you know, this is a hard edge right here that goes along. It's not beveled or anything, which is fine for something so large as this. Uh, usually you're not going to get right up to it. Whereas the world holes, I mean, you can see those. Look at that. You can see it right there. It's super obvious. And those other ones, the little smaller ones, you notice them about right here. With that... Well, you notice it, but it's not too, too bad. I don't know, really, it should be beveled to match everything else. But, um, what's weird is it's like they beveled just one little, one of the edges right here, but not the whole edge loop around the whole thing. Which is very, very odd. Oh, uh, why did you bother with, uh... If they move, shifted this pipe, it's already clipping through geometry, which is fine, really. If they moved this pipe back a little bit, instead of having to have all the geometry right here to have the transition, the pipe could just be gobbling it all up. It might require a little bit of fiddling, but I think they could do it. Just shift this whole thing to the left a little bit and make this angle a little tiny bit different. You can also see we got some, uh, looks like more decals fading in and out of existence here. I think it's just an engine thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's definitely another piece of geometry sitting on top of it. You can't really notice it from here, so I think it's probably all right, but they got some stuff going on right here where it's clipping through it, which is a bit obvious. Let's see, is it an issue, really? Is it really an issue? I don't know. You'd have to get pretty close, so I think maybe that's fine. But yeah, um, it, they could shift this over and then save all the geometry right there, and then, of course, you wouldn't have to have the weird transition where... Actually, what the hell do they do? There's a world hole there, too. There's a gap right there. So that's just some weird shizzle whizzle going on here where, um... Yeah, they, it's like they beveled it right here, and somebody accidentally went and merged the, uh... Two beveled, the, like, nice beveled faces together and made it a sharp edge that somehow got separated and made a world hole. Except for right here. And then it's the same, I believe, over here. Yeah, you can see it's... Like, there's a face just sitting here <laughs> that doesn't attach to the bevel. There's a bevel hiding behind a face. Bada, 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 bada. Makes that sort of V shape you can see on the left side of your screen there. That's a bit silly bullocks. And uh, this is the other bright side. And yep, it's the same over here. So it's the same on all the sides. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened there, but I'm sure somebody will fix it. I don't think there's anything to report in here. You can't really get in there, so it doesn't matter that anything's a bit silly in there. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, got some hard edges here, though. It looks a bit like they weren't smooth to the normals or whatever you want to call the fracking thing. Like, the edges weren't told to be smooth when it comes to rendering. I don't know, maybe it's sort of a shadowy thing causing uh, issues with the texture map again, maybe. Yeah, you're definitely getting some weird shadows here with these. Actually, does that look a bit different than the other side if we go ahead and compare the two of them really quickly? It does. Okay, so the sides don't match up. This has uh, one less uh, quad in the corner, I think. Yeah, because it's like... Big old quad, big old quad, big old quad, big old quad. And on the other side, it is big old quad, big old quad, with a little quad in the middle of the triangle to sort of round it out a little bit better. Huh. Odd. Odd, 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 odd.
See this one, it's got three of them, but you can see they, oh, sugar. Well, for the most part, they went ahead and actually, you know, made sure this metal bit was set up the way it was supposed to be. Uh, you can see here, this is all pretty good, and until you get to here, where it looks like this single big metal strap has been lowered down more than it should have, which is causing, you know, just, well, it's off. <laughs> pretty simple fix there, hey. Alrighty, that is the uh, first set of locks and everything done there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Or at least that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Because this is such a long, long video of me looking at, well, the trillion and one little tiny faults I've managed to find in these trillion and one new blocks. I've split this up into four videos, each one about 30 minutes. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked, subscribed, favorite, or just donate on PayPal, or hate me for making such a long video on tiny details. But hey, I figured new blocks, they asked for critique, so I'm giving it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys and gals, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta.